you're getting I don't know. Uh, it's not not, not that not making sense to you. You're getting your homie's lung air. No, you, the, <laughs> yeah, reason, yeah, the, the reason stuff you're from not, inside the, of the re- his body. The reason you're what not what he got, he gotta get it, put it in you. <laughs> the reason you're not. Bam, 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 bam. Welcome to Duda Man Homie Bro. Welcome. What's up? We're here to talk about the Jews. Listen, here's my problem. Take uh, it easy on the Jews. <laughs> Haven't they been through enough, allegedly? Do you, know, <laughs> you know what I mean? I know oh, nothing man. about the Jews. I I, I really don't. Uh, Circumcision. Yeah. <laughs> and that was a great. Uh, you know, they contributed with that. Matzo ball soup. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. The whole Kanye shit going on, man. Hollywood. L O L O White America assassinate my character. That's what he said. Yeah. White skinhead. I thought they were anti Jews, no? It's a great song. White skinhead? Oh, that's a song? I thought we were just naming it out. No, I thought it was Bald Skinhead or Black Skinhead. What's that song? Black Skinhead. Black, is black Skinhead. Did y'all check out that Chappelle uh, skits and Chappelle's monologue on Just the SNL? monologue, yeah. I saw the whole episode. My mom loved it. He's telling Kanye just I didn't to get the apologize. potato hole. Yeah. The potato hole? Yeah, I don't get that. Uh, is that like, is that pussy? Potato hole? Oh, I yeah. thought you were saying like, I don't eat the potato hole, like as in you don't watch all of SNL. You're like, I just get the Because <laughs> <laughs> you never know what he, what he means when he yeah, says. with your language. I'm not all about the potato hole. <laughs> I know, that was the skin. That's what they were saying. I was like, I don't get this. I smoked out of a potato. And then at the end, he was like, oh, it, and it was something really sad. Yeah. I don't remember what it was. Fuck. No. I, I didn't watch it. I just watched the monologue and stuff. Uh, apparently, it was great. Yeah. Uh-huh. He, that was a good episode. I saw him brought back some old characters for the House of Dragons or whatever. That looked funny. That bring back Clayton Bigsby. Yeah, that looked funny. Oh, they put Kanye's face on Clayton Bigsby, and they were talking about like Jews and white people and stuff like that. Yeah. But anyways, speaking of smoking, uh, what's the craziest thing you've ever smoked out of? Uh, were you innovative with your uh, with your bongs and your you know the, out of the plastic bottles? Like you know, you had like a tool, like a drill bit. I smoked out of that once. Soda can. That's as soda well as can is an OG. That's a classic. Um, I smoked out of potato. Any any like a fruit or a solid vegetable that is like kind of like this. You know, you could ha- get some smoke through there. F- I figured out a system. Why a potato? What made you like? Why a potato? Because I was just like, oh, that's kind of like an apple. I can do that. You know? I've seen that. I've I've seen it on TV or movies, whatever. I've never seen it in person. Somebody actually smoke out of an apple. It was pretty hard to get smoke to like fun, like tunnel through a potato, like with the fucking straw and yeah. like a screwdriver. You know, you know, I made it happen. Made them tunnels like this uh, dedication. Is it for the flavor? The Mexicans, but no, Does it hit different. No, nah, just because I was like, let me smoke out of something. I was just a stupid stoner. Like, I wonder what I could smoke out of. Like, you know, if somebody were to eat an apple that you smoked out of, would they get high? No, 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 not no. at all. No, it'd just be ashy and gross. There's no it would like, taste like burnt weed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no fucking um, psychoactive ingredients in there. Yeah. It's like the weed is like only like thirty four percent of that, and then once you get it wet and everything, it's like ruined. Like you can't get high off of that or anything. It's like eating weed. Like people will eat weed, mm-hmm. like to stash it. Sometimes they don't get high off of that. Just might get a stomach ache or something. You know. Mm. Yeah, it's the way your body definitely had edible today. Consumes it. How high are you right now? I'm pretty high. How high are both of y'all? I, I had a ed- Oscar made some edibles or some of some edibles. <laughs> well, my 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 good man oh, fuck. To, to the left of me, he he made he brought a beautiful new p pe- uh, my my say Benny, <laughs> Benny Ripperton. He all uh, is beautiful and we like we dance. You know saying. She we sang dance, and she sang and she's singing to me now. <laughs> I told him I was like, "Yo, I started coughing. I was like, I hear static in my ears. Nothing uh, was on. Yeah, it's pretty high. Yeah, Yo, high Ripper school day high. That's, That's the best way I can describe. It. I'm high school. I'm I'm high like I was back in high school. I smoked right. so much one time, like I passed out. Like I legit was walking up my porch and just fucking face planted like on my porch because I was so high. So many bong rips. It was crazy. I've been there. 
Um, yeah, I don't know how people are, are like functioning with that. Like, I don't do it socially. I can't do it socially. Yeah, I don't know how like people could just smoke and then just act like like cool. Like, is their tolerance just that high? Yeah, yeah. Am I doing it wrong? Like, do you, are they not inhaling yeah, completely? Smoke, it ate the last you six years. Yeah, of uh, regular <laughs> people, that's a week and under. Yeah, yeah. But uh, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, am I doing it wrong? Like, you're not am smoking I, enough? No, you're not. You're not doing it wrong. You're doing it the right way because what. Honestly, I would love the way, I would love to feel the way you feel if you take a, a, a badass rip. Like the way I feel now, I feel great. But you, 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 you would probably be tingling. I panic. Oh, really? I panic, and that's the whole thing. Like, like, am I like, am I doing it wrong? How come everybody's just like chill, functioning? Like, what if I find out one day, like you're supposed to smoke it, like you smoke a cigar, like just huh. put it in your mouth. Don't. Inhale? What are yeah. you doing? Well, Get you it? Inhale. You inhale how, that you shit? Hold, how long do you hold it? A long time. Yeah. Don't hold it a long time. Uh, you know, that all it takes, nothing. listen to me. This give is you a cancer. Fact. This is a fact. No, it won't. I'm this just is, kidding. Cannabis won't. When This is a fact, and I learned this back when I was like 24, because I used to buy High Times, the weed magazine. Yeah. And, well, the cannabis magazine. All it takes <laughs> is three seconds. Your your lungs, within three seconds, yeah, after three seconds, you're supposed to blow out the smoke because your lungs have absorbed all the cannabinoids yeah. and everything that's in that THC, uh, in that smoke, that's going to get you high. After that, it's just bullshit. You're just fucking, you, it's, it's like waste. You should blow it out anyway. So uh, you you hit it, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. And you probably, honestly, you don't even, a person like you that doesn't smoke that much, yeah. you can hit it like this. Blow it right out. Don't even hold it. Yeah. And that, and I guarantee you, you'll have a nice hot pack. I don't know. Well, I got smoke. We got you got. July we got smoke. 2008. We you got, don't subscribe. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. And this has know. been the Weed Science Minute, brought to you by Brent Williams and Deuterman Homie Bro. Smoke well, responsibly. Yes. <laughs> and like when I, I hate when like well I don't hate it. I'm just like I don't understand how like people th- do like their best thinking. When they're high, like jokes, riding yeah. up and punching up. I don't, I don't do. I, I like get, an Adderall. I get high. I'm, I'm like, you know, dogs are boys, cats are girls. <laughs> like that's like the high thought that I fucking come out. Yeah. <laughs> like nothing, nothing productive. Nothing like I, I just can't. I don't do write it. good high. You know. What's the highest you've ever been? You had that freak out moment. I've had like even when I'm if I didn't smoke that much, I'll have like really bad panic attacks. It's just yeah. not for me. I might be allergic. <laughs> I just might be allergic to it. If I do edibles, edibles are cool. Mm-hmm. Like I don't get panic attacks or nothing, but it just takes forever before I start going like, "Oh, there it is." Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah. Smoke is more instant, obviously, but like it's just I I pass the line that I want to get to, and then I'm just fucked for like forty five minutes an hour. Yeah, and I'm just like. I regret this so much. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fun. It's, yeah. it's not fun, and I keep doing it. It's just not fun. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I just ate 225 milligrams on Friday. Okay. It was all right. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. I did it with one of our uh, past guests. Associates. One Associates. Kali. One Kali's. that like to fight. Oh. Okay. I think I was just with him last night. Yeah. That's what's up, dude. What's the highest you've ever been, Brent? Uh, when I stay high, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, you know, you heard 2018. No. Better question, <laughs> when have I been low? Damn, that's it. There it is. Politician fat, no one is. No, it's a time when you said you passed out from mm-hmm. being high. I was in the backyard, long story short. <laughs> my parents were the house I grew up in. My you, you couldn't go out if you went out the back door. My parents' house was like towards the gate Mm -hmm. so they would hear you so me and my brother-in-law my sister had just had my niece so he was staying over at the at the crib like a few nights so my brother-in-law had rolled up a joint we go out the front door walk around to the back in the back of my house there's this like brick thing where you put the trash Mm -hmm. trash cans were so we were sitting on top of that smoking he blew me it was a blunt he wrote he blew me like two charges or shotguns some people call them shotguns And we finished them to like half that blunt after like, I didn't realize how high I was. Mm. So, okay, so we got up because it was so an alley in the back of my house. Yeah. We got up. I'm walking. I stand up. He's getting like, because 
you know, he's getting like his light or whatever. He's walking next to me, dude, literally. And it seemed like a cloud just came over my eyes and I, I like bumped into him and he moved out the way. Bah! Like I still, I could show you the scars I still got on my knees. Damn, what was that, man? And my, and my elbow, in this elbow, yeah. What's the point of shotgunning? It, does it get you it's more high? high? It gets you, yeah. It's like a, a, it's like a quick rush. Rather because a shotgun goes up your nose. A shotgun goes up your nose. I mean, you could breathe it in too, uh -huh. but like the way you're supposed to do it, you you, you sniff it up your nose. Like oh, because yeah. no. they're blowing it, because they're blowing it out. Like so, it's coming. Because oh, they have to put like the lit part in their mouth, uh -huh. and they're blowing it at you, and it's it's it's. it's, it's it's a, it's a oh, crazy, okay. I thought the shotgun one. was their exhale. Like you're taking in the, what they the, what they blow out. No, the, the that's weed not a shotgun. The, not where I'm from. Well, I don't know. The weed has to come out of the joint or the blunt. Oh, from, so they have the and they're blowing it out in. through the joint. They're blowing. Yeah. It. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Yeah, it's, it's shit is. I always thought shotgun was kind of like uh, like homosexual stuff. <laughs> You know, because you're literally taking in somebody else's <laughs> air. Like, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I've That's seen that funny. happen. I was like, really? oh, they're shotgunning, I guess. You can do oh, it with no. the bra. What is that called? When maybe you take with, in somebody's exhale. Maybe with a chick. That's freaky. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah. yeah. I've done that with a fucking girlfriend before. Like, Have just, you done it with the dude? We're just stoners? No. With a boyfriend? No. I've seen dudes do it, like, on, on like, no homo. <gasps> really? Yeah, well, that's what they said. But I was like, that looks pretty uh, pretty homo erotic. What they, what they call it? <laughs> erotic? Yeah. Erotic? Homo erotic, because it's wrong. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> erotic. Nah, I was like, why don't you just just pass it, just pass it? Yeah, uh, but I don't know. Yeah, no. I, th I didn't know if it was like a uh, like a like a tribal thing or like a ritual thing. It could be. Well, okay. There's, like, there's two ways get that high I'll off sit. the air of my lungs. There's two. No, hell no. Fuck I don't no. know. The, there's two <laughs> ways that I've that I've done it before. All right. So one way is let's say I was gonna like Scott. Shot was gonna, Scott was like, hey, give me a shotgun. So he would. Scott would take his hands, like cup them. I would take the blunt, put the lit part. It's lit. So you got to be like, you can't just be like, I can you burn the fuck out of your tongue. I burned my tongue before. It's fucked up. Yeah. But, dude, you put the lit part of the blunt in your mouth. Scott has his, and the, the unlit part is in Scott's hands. And Scott's just, just inhaling all that smoke that I'm blowing. But, but he's also way. inhaling your your. Air, your lung stuff. Sounds homoerotic. See? <laughs> it, 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 my, okay, maybe for that, but, it, but it, it, it's not because I'm... I'm Because we're boys, <laughs> bro. The weed's burning. It's you not know like what my, it is. You know what I'm saying? You like don't do gay shit. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like that kind of shit. We so, play 2K. <laughs> too gay. <laughs> but no, it's, I mean, dude, I'm... I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I mean, it's fine. One. I haven't done one it's in probably. Nothing, there's anything wrong with actually, that. Wrong actually, with I probably haven't done one since that day. That's why I, I believe got me like just fucked up. Because I passed out that time, but before I got into the house, yeah. I fell out one more time. Like, walk, cause we had a huge yard, so I fell out again. I don't know. Shotgun just seems kind of dangerous, especially in COVID <laughs> times, you know? Yeah, That's nah, the best time. Because you're getting, I don't know. Uh, it's not not, not that not making sense to you. You're getting your homie's lung air. No, you're, the, <laughs> yeah, reason, the, yeah, reason, the stuff from not, inside the, of the his re, body. The reason you're what not, he got, he gotta get it, put it in you. <laughs> the reason you're not give it away now. The reason you're not is because the the fire from the weed is is, is burning it off. That cherry is killing whatever. No, you know what I'm saying? that cherry's killing whatever. No, no I don't it's know. Just I think smoke. I got I got you up. I think you're questioning your life decisions right now. I think anybody that's shotgun with their homies got to go like, <laughs> why did I just pass it? I should have just passed it. You know? Uh, <laughs> um, I got. That was a reference for the ages. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good, right? <laughs> that was a reference for the ages. It was so good. I don't know. <laughs> I re I remember. It, it, this is it why was I, funny. It was good. This was is why dope. I say homo homoerotic. Or is, it, it, there the is fact a that something he doesn't even really like them. Sexual. Yeah, no, he's, yeah, he just said he doesn't even like the chili peppers that much. And it was a beautiful record. I, I like that one. Uh, I like Blood Sugar Blood Sugar Sex Magic. I like that album. That album was fucking great. Yeah. Uh, but there was so th this is why I'm saying the air in your lungs is kind of like 
Eh, it's kind of questionable. There was one time where I was doing uh, a, a dude uh, drugs that you're not supposed to be doing. Go. No, not that. Meth. There are no drugs that you're not supposed to. It was do. either like a, it was either a Ritalin or GHB. Adderall or something. But yeah, we, we, okay, we uh, yeah. broke it up and we, Crack. whatever. Anyway, uh, I got H. I was me, me and the girl at the time were like, you know, really turned on, but we couldn't. I couldn't. So we just you C- could you could load the gun, but we, the gun wanted to shoot. We just CPR'd <laughs> each other, kept just blowing in each other's lungs. And for some reason, that was, uh, that was, we were shotgunning each other, you know? <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Wow. She, That's different. I've never she, done that. I've uh, never put my lips to another dude's lips to shot for, to blow weed. Yeah, smoke. only if there's a joint between us. <laughs> yeah, it's not <laughs> good. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly right. So that's how that story ends. You're all just blowing in each other's mouths. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For a long time. And we both, fi- we both, uh, enjoyed it. We both enjoyed ourselves. Did you, did you bust? Did she bust? <laughs> Mutually, yeah. It was weird. I was like, "Why does this even make sense?" But it was. We were just drunk, and uh, it was a long, long time ago. Back in my drug days, a long, long time ago. Long, long, long time ago. Long, 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 long time ago. <laughs> before Mrs. Politician Pat. Before he even knew Mrs. Politician Pat. No, I just, no, Mrs. Nasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was before her. Damn, did she bust? It's so aggressive. <laughs> did she bust? She bust the nut? <laughs> hey man, a lady nut. Uh, <laughs> uh, don't do drugs, kids. It's, uh, it's, Unless, it's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. not at all. Especially under Unless you bridges. Unless you don't want to be cool. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't yeah, be cool. I, I actually, suck at life. All the, all the kids that didn't do drugs in school and stay focused, those are the ones that are like like homeowners now and Sexuals. shit. Sexuals. You know, got portfolios uh, that are diversified. <laughs> take trips to Morocco. And they're also South all France. balls deep in balls. <laughs> what? You heard me. I don't know. What, but they're, the they're, 1% is gay. There is a study that you're not supposed to be doing like drugs like that until like 25 until your brain is fully developed and stuff. Yeah. I think. I was a little what kind short. Of drugs? I did, like, any drugs. I know weed, especially. Even weed? Yeah. yeah. Especially weed. Because it's messing with your your, bre- your your brain chemistry. And so it's affecting anything that you do your brain while it's like growing, like while it's still like uh, adapting and becoming m- mature. Fully formed. Before it's fully formed, you're fucking it up. Yeah. <laughs> You want to hit the bong? Brent's disappointed. He's like your kid right now, and you're giving him the drug talk. Well, okay, well, okay but you were religious, right? So when did you start getting into, to, into drugs? When did you hate God? There's, <laughs> there's no way that you were still like religious and then doing drugs, right? That's what I got in trouble for, like, like growing up. Was like, like doing like smoking weed. When did you start like, smoking? The first, well, like with my boys and shit. At school. all, ever? <laughs> um, well, the first time I ever got high was like seven. Oh damn! Because I only hit a joint once, and I passed out. But like when I like smoked, with when it became with, a career, yeah, <laughs> I would say thirteen. Really? 12, yeah, thirteen with the homies. Because I always hung out with. But you gotta understand, Pat. I always hung out with older dudes. Always, I was always the youngest. Yeah, and all of them. I'm talking about when I say the youngest, the next dude closest closest to my age. He was like four years older than me. So uh-huh. I always hung out with older dudes, always doing, and I would be drinking. Like, they go buy, like, 40 ounces of malt liquor, yeah. and they would get me a double deuce. It's, it's what's well, called a double deuce. It's 22 ounces of, like, Coke 45. Patrick oh, Swayze is just kicking people out. Yeah, so, and so at, like, 13, 14, I'm drinking. Because you got to understand, only my mother was a Jehovah's Witness. She was. My father wasn't. So oh, all yeah, of yeah, my yeah. older cousins and, and the homies and my pops was like, they, she couldn't keep me from the streets. So I was, you know, yeah. But around fifteen, not even God could keep me from these streets. <laughs> yeah, you hear me? <laughs> yeah. But nah, dude. So when Street I decided, disciples. how you gonna die for my sins if I ain't out there sitting? Exactly. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's when. I, what so, the like, fuck is that? But that's why it's so. I, I didn't know that, and if that's really true, man, that's why it's so depressing to know that, dude. Because I, really, <laughs> yeah, I started fucking with with drugs and shit like yeah. at a young age. 
as far as drugs, because alcohol, malt liquor is a fucking drug. You can fuck what you say. It's a terrible drug. <laughs> and then you got weed, too. If weed is bad, dude, yeah. I've been smoking since I was like and 13. That's, so that's, why, that's I, why I'm so dumb. That's, fuck. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm thinking. I'm stinking, too. Because <laughs> it's so weird how, like, the for alcohol is 21, but then the whole the theory of, like, you can't do anything to your body that would affect your brain until you're 25. Why are they allowing this stuff to happen if that's true? They're trying to dumb us down, and we're taking it like fucking idiots. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I like drinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've seen that study, too. It's like uh, give you early like onset uh, schizophrenia or anxiety or yeah, the fuck with dude. your uh, like brain. Yeah, but look at us now. But that's whole. I mean, it's a, it's a rite of passage to do it at like in high school. All right, if you have a kid right now, you're giving him the drug talk. Go, I'm your son. Tell me the drug talk right now. Actually, this would be perfect for me because I got to pee. Duh, duh. I'm, I'm not coming back. Duh, duh. Oh, that's actually, uh, that's a banger. I like that. I like that. You got your headphones on. Your headphones. You got your headphones on. Nah, I'm going to take it with me. <laughs> All right, I'm your son. Give me the drug talk. Well, you're the one. You're the only one with the kid. What What is your drug talk? That's why I want to ask y'all. Well, what What do you have prepared? Like, if you had to do the do the drug talk right now, if you had to do it today, your your kid's like what three, four? Yeah, he's gonna be four. When What age are you gonna do the drug talk? Man, he's got a fucking. He's got siblings. He's got this one sibling I'm worried about. Uh, <laughs> I know he's gonna get him into some badass shit, probably. Um. But my parents never gave me the drug talk when they found out that I was doing drugs, because uh, again I was I was young, uh, and then and then they tried to give me the drug talk and they kept calling it dope, you know don't do dope and to me dope was like heroin, and I was like I didn't do dope I smoked weed stupid, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know like I was like just arguing against that because it's not dope it's weed what are you talking about but apparently dope is all the drugs yeah right. it's it's like hard to get away from like because i don't want it to be one of those things where i'm like hey don't fucking do this don't fucking do this so naturally they're going to be like i want to do that because they're fucking telling me not to do it so i think i might do the whole reverse psychology thing and just be like hey man look uh i know you're getting older now you're gonna fucking come into some things that uh you know your friends are probably gonna be into just don't do it um, if you if you do it, be safe, be smart about it. Um, what is being smart about it? What, what is that? I don't know. Like, do, I'm be like, hey, don't do any fucking hard drugs. If you're at a party, your friends might be smoking weed. Just take a hit. See if it, see if it's free or not. <laughs> so you tell me, <laughs> go ahead, do drugs. Like, don't don't be a bitch. You know. <laughs> yeah, hey, dude, don't be a fucking. Don't be a bitch don't be about a narc, it. You know. You know what I mean? Nah, man. But uh, of course, I'd be like, you know, just wait. It's probably better. I I probably gonna lie to him and be like, look, I didn't do any drugs until I was. Do you do you plan to have the talk, or are you just gonna let 18. life happen and then have have the uh, like the after the, repercussions. the after effect or the ha after conversation? No, no, no. I get, I plan to give the talk. You know, it's got to be early because now these kids are growing up so fast. These kids out here, boy, just cheering. Be uh, wild. I know for a fact I'm gonna be absentee father. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Probably have a few kids Continue. out there already. I bet. No. Uh, little halves and halves. How would you handle it? What? If, if, how would you? I'm gonna handle be an absentee father. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna worry about that. <laughs> Brent, are you looking to get married? You looking to settle down? You looking I, to pop wait, out? I'm not gonna be pop, an absentee out. father. I don't want all the records. Like, just ending with that. Go ahead, though. Keep going, dude. Do your kids a favor. Don't be around, <laughs> dude. <laughs> the best thing you can do for your kids is not show up. No, that's fucked up. It's crazy. I love you, though. I'd be kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, man. You giving them the talk? You, you, you kids. You, you, looking at, you looking to have some kids? I would like to, man, but it probably ain't going to happen. Why? Well, because you don't want to. Because no, I want to. I'm just because you spill all I'm your lazy, dude. All I'm your lazy. loads in the tub. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I'm lazy, dude. Yeah, that's that's probably why. Just because I do. I'm. You're not lazy. You get up at six o'clock in the morning. What's what's Four. lazy about you? You're selfish. Is that what you're saying? The skin color. That's what, no, no, no. Selfish. Selfish. This selfish. isn't an intervention. No, it's just selfish. You're selfish. Actually, actually honestly, yes. I didn't want to say it. Fuck. All right. Yeah, I'm selfish, dude. It's fine being selfish. It's okay to be selfish. It's, it's, like... it's, it's, if you're going to be selfish, do it before you have kids. Yeah. Don't be selfish. Don't. <laughs> 
don't realize, hey, I think I want to be selfish after the fucking fact that you have kids. Right, well, right. My right. parents are definitely raising my kids. Shout out. Yeah. They give the same lifestyle I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's funny because like I just had a one night stand, and I'm happy that like I've I've always been a shitty His planner. Or her. I've always been a shitty planner. What? His or her? <laughs> <laughs> Having the kid. His name was Stan. All right. <laughs> oh, for the kid. My fault. I thought you meant you just had one. No, 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 no. Damn, he good. stayed one night stand. <laughs> <laughs> Being a good boy. Um, Man, yeah, because like I've I've never been a shitty I've always been a shitty planner. Like I've never planned anything like in my life, especially with kids. The only thing I planned in my life was this Motley Crue tattoo on my fucking on my leg. Yeah, that was the one thing in life where I was like, this is what's gonna happen with my life. Because like job, a friend, fucking car, not my credit. Yeah, kid, one night stand, Motley Crue. <laughs> so I guess that's just the way to do it. Just like don't plan it, just react to what happens. You know, call CPS. Yeah, don't ask for permission. Ask for forgiveness. Exactly. Um, now, I dude, live my life off that. <laughs> 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 I'll never get a test anything you can't fucking, drop in ninety seconds. No, just the fucking corner. do it. And if they say you fucked up, be like, yo, my bad. I didn't know. It well, works. Nah, he doesn't live his life. Not all things, ladies and gentlemen. Not all things. Um, I don't know. After a while, I'm sorry. It just starts losing its meaning. <laughs> Not if you do it to the same person a hundred times, but a hundred people one time. Yeah, you gotta remember. Hey, I'm sorry. Did you, did I already? I'm sorry. Did I already, did I already do that? Did we already do this? I'm my, then my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh man. No, I don't know, man. That's wild. Drug talks, sex talks. Are you? You gonna have to do all that stuff. I'm not. Ugh. What? What do you? What do you? I don't want to think about it. <laughs> well, let's teach him gay and straight. <laughs> nah, man. That's that's his choice to do. He was born that way. What are you more worried about, the sex talk or the drug talk? The fucking sex talk. More than drugs? I would more think the drugs, drugs and alcohol talk. No, because I'm. So, I still got to take care of us. I don't want to take care of another one of you. <laughs> no. Oh damn. Um. Nah. Right. Because. Uh, I mean, they're both, they're both, it's a fucking, you know, double-edged sword there. Double-edged dildo. Um, why, wait, why do you think the drug talk will be harder than the sex talk? Because drugs are more in your face. It's hard to have sex for boys. Uh, but I think the, the, the talk it's is... It's more easier to get high than it is to get laid. Uh, but hey, I don't think sex man, talk hey, is about getting man. laid. I think it's about where you shoot your load. Not for the floors, Liz. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Doug, but like him having a kid <laughs> would be like more of a long-term problem where he could get off drugs. Like if he became a drug addict, he can get off drugs like in a month, a year, whatever. But it's oh, not like a long-term, like this is a life. So you're you're decision. not you're not worried about the the talk the sex talk you're just worried about that this is how babies are made. Yeah, he's gonna be fucking. He's of course he's gonna be fucking. That's that's <laughs> Jacob's son, boy. That's Jacob's son. He's gonna be fucking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no avoiding that one. It's so weird to like even imagine your four year old son already <laughs> fucking banging. <laughs> yeah, it's very weird. <laughs> yeah. Dude, because like, oh my god, he goes up to girls already, and he's just like, let me smell like, that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! He'll sit on his finger. <laughs> Holy shit! And right now he'll get a pass. Like, there's a certain age, <sighs> right? especially it's in, cute. In, in his, it's cute. And his voice, like, you can tell oh. us not. <laughs> He said, sit on my finger. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> but he had, does that baby lips where he's like, sit on my finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh, no. Yo, bitch, sit on my finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Nah, uh, these yeah. are things you got to think. See, this is why I never wanted kids. I never wanted kids. Dude, it's just oh, anxieties. You, didn't, you, don't, you don't want one? You nah, don't want I never wanted kids. Anxieties oh. for the rest of your fucking life because you got to worry about shit in every stage of his fucking life. Like right now, he's got to live, yeah, survive. Dude. I got to teach him shit. <laughs> I don't know why he's waiting in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck, dude. And like, oh, man. It's so funny to realize like some of the shit I already see in him that like he's picked up from me or something because like... In a roundabout way, like you remember that joke when Javier was on here, um, 
he was like he already he's already got that fuck it factor because like I'm all about just fuck it, whatever. Because remember, he wanted to go to Chuck E. Cheese uh-huh. or Peter Piper Pizza, and he couldn't say it right. And I was like, say Peter Piper Pizza, and he couldn't say it right. And he's like, you know what? Let's just go to Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. God damn. Okay, dude, that's pretty funny. That's pretty smart, but like, I see it. <laughs> he's already got like that fuck it in him. Yeah. Are you going to be hard on your kids? Like, since they're like a. Uh, I have to. An extension of you. I have to. I have to be a fucking hard ass because like he already gets away with so much with my like. With his grandparents, like they fucking love him, they spoil him. Yeah, that's and your job, though. Yeah, but it's uh, there's no one like you're the enemy. I know they're the ally. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah. So I have to be the hard ass. I gotta give them the stern, tough love. Like how like how that. are you with your grandparents? Discipline, um, man. Yeah, they fucking yeah, same shit. They just spoiled my grandmother spoiled the fuck out of me. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. you gotta fight that. <laughs> you gotta be the how, bad how, guy. How are you with your grandparents? Right. Uh, on my on my dad's side, my grandfather was cool as fuck. My grandma fucking was a, a devil. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's fine. On my mom yeah, on my mom's side, my 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 grandma spoiled us, but she was a drinker too. So like, she just loved everybody. Like she yeah. was she was a good drinker. Awesome. That's all. Yeah. She, oh, so God, like, sh- yeah, she was she was she was great. Yeah. Dog, my grandma on my dad's side would come to lunch with me every day like in elementary. She'd be just rocking there with me. You remember that shit? <laughs> when they would come to lunch with you? Do you yeah. ever have that shit? Dude, every day. She was like part of the fucking school. <laughs> like every yeah. day she'd just be there fucking, fucking rocking with us. That's dope. That's so funny. I remember that. Yeah, I did get spoiled a lot from grandparents. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking about it. So does it? does it... Does it I mean, this is kind of like serious, but does it stress you out? Like the stuff that the, the stages that you're gonna have with your kids? Yeah, dude. Yeah. What the fuck do you think I'm here with these ass with y'all assholes? <laughs> I don't want to talk about this right now. <laughs> I come to escape. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't bring topics. I'm just like, all right, well, let's get into it. No, <laughs> no, nah, nah, it's all good. It's uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be a motherfucker. Like, it, like next year he's gonna start in school. Can you no, hit him? no, fuck no. Oh. <clears throat> that's that's not gonna you don't, you don't you don't ever <laughs> you don't ever plan on spanking when he gets eighteen I'm gonna beat the fuck out of him now okay. um nah nah I'm gonna be hard on a kid without fucking him up you just gotta be stern you gotta just be like you know mean voice you gotta be uh, I took that. <laughs> it don't work bro you gotta punish him in like other ways you gotta take away shit well, well first yeah. of all, first out it was fine <laughs> is, he, is, is he a bad kid no no he's not so a bad he doesn't kid at all. do shit that he needs to spank him no not at all. Cause I used to break shit as a kid. I'd like I don't know about y'all, but like I'm, I think me and you were a lot alike as a kid. I, don't know I like breaking you, shit. I had, I had anger issues. You like yeah, and I'd get my ass beat. That's so. why he listens to Leakin Park. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up while I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> did, you get, did you get ass whooped as a kid? The fuck yeah. Did you get Bro, ass I used to get pissed the fuck out. I got, yeah. I got fucked up. Did you get ass whooped? I didn't really get fucked up. See, man. that's probably why you don't look at it like he'll never do anything that he needs to ass whooping. But if I mean, I but you're but up. you're a decent person, so it maybe maybe it's maybe as proof that you don't have to. But Let you probably weren't show. as fucked up as us. Maybe at the time I hated it. Looking back now, I, it was it was needed. It was, fine. It was yeah. very much needed. You know, like I have no problems. Like my mom was very she was very strict. You know, and she would get we would make her angry all the time, and like she would beat the shit out of us. But we're fucking good people. We're well, good people. No, isn't one of your sisters gay? <laughs> <laughs> She's still a good person. That's good. She's that still good. a good person. That's good. <laughs> so we beat her up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> but nah, it's a never-ending cycle. Yeah, it's always gonna just have anxiety for the rest of my life. And that was another thing because like I don't think I don't I think I thought mm-hmm. about it way too much than other people when it came to like. Am I gonna have kids or not? Like some people are like, "Well, I have a kid now," you know. Like I was just like, I did, I didn't want to because um, I didn't, yeah. I didn't Same. want discipline. I didn't want, I didn't want a teenager. I didn't want another adult. A baby would have been fine, especially now because I get like a lot of Instagram likes and stuff. <laughs> like that's all. And I think you can take advantage <laughs> of that. Don't post them enough. I think if Instagram was around when when uh, when I was a kid, like my dad would have been a better father. That's funny. because he loves proving to people. That he he does what he's supposed to do. That's he funny. doesn't. It's so weird because I'll, I'll run into people 
No, he's just at the Denny's. Kids eat for free. All right, now stand the fuck up. We got to go. Oh, <laughs> it's just okay, for, okay, he'd right. still be a scumbag, but he'd just be faking it online. Yeah. Like, kids eat for free. Yeah. We're at Denny's. Let's All right, get the fuck out time. of here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Daddy's yeah. son time. All right, get yeah. the fuck out. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll see you in a month, bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wow. He's got an image to uh, keep up. Nah, he was, he was all about the image before, like the social media image thing uh, was, yeah. was the thing. So yeah, that's funny. If Instagram, Instagram should have been around when I was a kid, but now I'm in therapy, so yeah. it's fine. Like, <laughs> it's like a therapy session here right now. Yeah, dude. <laughs> we thought it was gonna be laid back. It's on a Sunday now. <laughs> we're just chilling, and now we're just like, hey, how are you gonna fuck up your kid's life? <laughs> yeah, dude. Fuck. No. Jake, when are you gonna become a grandpa? What age do you think? Oh god damn it! You're gonna be a young grandfather for Ooh, sure. The floors just be fucking. Um, I don't know. At least hope to make it to 18, dude. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. And you'll remember this video. <laughs> 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 damn. I don't know, dude. Yeah, as long as he's. Oh, I don't want no fucking. You think you're gonna make it to 18? Teenage pregnancies. God damn it. I'm thinking like 15. <laughs> oh, no. 15. Not. And she's not going to be. Kids are more advanced <laughs> these days, dude. That's what you know? I'm saying. Uh, and it's going to be more socially acceptable. As long as he makes it on a show. You know, if he's well, on no, MTV. No, the thing about it is, if you tell him to, listen. It'll be fine. This, this is the thing about it. Bro, condoms. Just preach <laughs> condoms. I'm dizzy. Like, you laugh at it. You <laughs> joke at it. I'm telling you right now, dude. If... If you show him, because I ain't bullshit, and that's what kept me from having a kid no. in the early stages. No. Yeah, that's Jacob's son. So if my father likes son, he ain't going to like condoms either. Bro, <laughs> no, I don't know. My, my dad, I don't like <laughs> condoms now. My dad bought me condoms, <laughs> and I jacked off in the shower. I was like, oh, this fucking <laughs> sucks. <laughs> I'm with, out. With a condom? Yeah. You're not supposed to jack off with a I, you know, No, I, gotta, I get that, but I in the shower? Drive. Right, yeah. I got I a know. test drive. You could never. I could never get it. And then after that, I was like, "Yo, this is not working. I don't like this at all." Shower is not good. Yeah, it was way shower. better when I used my own hand. <laughs> this ain't no sock. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm the only one in here who grew up using condoms. Well, I yeah. didn't grow up because I didn't practicing really safe start sex. until yeah. Uh, did y'all's uh, teachers like put the the banana and no, the condom? Did they ever happened. do that no. for sex ed? They did make us watch a pregnancy video. Yeah. Yeah, we had. Dude, that shit scared the fuck out of me. That lady had a bush. My older sister. Dude, <laughs> she my had young... a bush. We Mom. had a fucking meeting in the goddamn auditorium, and like this, we had like this teacher come in, like this sex teacher or whatever, talk in front of the whole school. And one of our teachers got mad because we weren't paying attention. I'll never forget it, Mrs. Stewart. God rest her soul. She's not dead, but maybe. Uh, <laughs> like she came up in front of the whole class and was like, "Y'all ain't gonna be laughing." Five years from now, when you're going to the doctor saying, my penis is burning, my oh. penis is burning, and in front of everybody, dude, in the whole school was dying yeah. laughing, bro. Should have asked her, where was her penis burning? She was killing. I know. She was crushing, dude. It was so fucking funny. That was uh, that was my sex education. I love she had fire crotch. But, you know, I took some pills. Is that how she died? It's all good. I took some pills. Have y'all ever gotten STD? Nope. No. Nope. Never? Nope. I you use condoms, some homie. of my bitches. Dude, nah, I, I, give them go, I have sex with them and I tell them to go get tested. But I should have <laughs> done <this> before. <laughs> go test for the both of us. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do. That's so my move. It's like if she comes back and she's straight, that means I got to be Yeah. Straight. You're Ooh. welcome. Well, I got chlamydia once from an old fucking ex-girlfriend. <clears throat> oh. Damn. Yeah. It was. I was a cuck. I, I didn't know that she was fucking someone else until I found her pictures in her phone and i saw her like in bed with another dude i was like who the fuck is this she's like that's you <laughs> and i was like really uh, uh, you're gonna pull the that's me right now so funny and then like we break up no see what happened <laughs> 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 what's, the, what's the time step on that what's the, oh that's uh i don't know his name it's your brother <laughs> uh <laughs> no geez that'd be fucked up um yeah, and then she was like, hey, just so you know. <laughs> and I was like, you dirty bitch. So I went to the doctor, took some big-ass, like, green-looking Hulk pills, and I was good a week later or whatever. No. Yeah. I had ingrown hairs. Yeah, you're that, fucking <laughs> gross. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that, that was a scare. And then I was like, oh, no, it's just ingrown hairs. I was like, oh, that's cool. But I got mad at the chick. I was like, look. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Hey, take a look for this Lily Doc. Oh but shit! Yeah, I had tough. one girl tell me she was like, "It doesn't feel right right now." 
<laughs> it doesn't feel right. Yeah. I said, well, go to the doctor. She's like, we didn't use a condom. I was like, bitch, I know I don't have whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> Came back three days later apologizing, bro. I was like, yo, what makes you think I'm like just nasty like that? Like, what was it? What, what made you think that? She goes, well, I've only been with you and, and ten of the guys <laughs> and someone else. Yeah. Oof. I don't know. Damn. Yeah, I, I, I probably <laughs> bought more condoms than I've actually used. <laughs> nice. But I, I, I stayed prepared. I had one girl. Make me wear a condom. Yeah. Who didn't nut? Shout out to her. Dumb bitch. Shout out to that chick. And she was old. Go ahead, Pat. No, no, no. How much she spend on rubbers? <laughs> I, and I, he I, said I, she was old. What's happened to her? Like good year over here. I stayed buying them, but I didn't use all of them uh, on a person. Uh, <laughs> on a doll. <laughs> Not on a doll. <laughs> on a mattress. <laughs> a little pillowcase. <laughs> Did you ever fuck anything as a kid? I fucked the mattress. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked the box string mattress, dog. I put a hole in that bitch. I was like, this hurts. Uh, this is metal. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I thought it was a hole. I thought it would feel good. <laughs> that would be comfortable. Mouth, the, nah. the big mouth. I know what it is. This is Jay from Big Mouth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. He kind of looks like Jay, too. Right? <laughs> and you know who Jay is, too, don't you? I think you? so. Fuck. Yeah, that's Jay. That's from now on. I'm not calling. Big <laughs> mouth is funny, man. Jakey J. That's your new nickname. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, all right, let's switch it up. What else do we want to talk about? <laughs> we talk about drugs and sex. sex. No, let's talk about rock and roll. No, I don't know. Um, I was on Facebook today, and I had uh, my memories pop up, like I Facebook hate memories. I They're hate so that cringe, shit. bro. Like today, it's so bad. On this day, twelve years ago, I posted a status. I got friends in low places where the beer drowns and the whiskey chases yeah. my blues away. Yeah. That was the status. And I was like, how fucking drunk was I listening to Garth Brooks where I wanted to post that as my Facebook status? I, I like, used to be hella sad, boy. I would like post <laughs> shit in my feelings <laughs> on Facebook. I would yeah. post that shit on Facebook. And I like, I hate when it comes to the memories. Like, oh, gross, dude. What the fuck? I posted the gayest shit ever one time because I was talking to this girl who's into poetry. And I was like, the true eyes of the beauty in a woman lies between the eyes of them. The true beauty or some bullshit like that. And I was like, oh, yeah. Why did I do that? I don't know. I was raised by women, so I get a pass, I guess. <laughs> do y'all get like a uh, personal on, uh, on Facebook? Did y'all ever use social media in a way that it's not like supposed to be used? <laughs> as far as what? Like I guess not in the way that's not supposed to be used, but like be like post a sad sad posting on Facebook and shit. Like just a nah, cry for help to the whole entire world. Yeah. Some people put too no? much out there. Well you don't I'm, really do social very, media. You've never really been I'm big very, on social media, huh? I've never been big on it. But so but <laughs> even back when I was, it was only it was only like like good shit. It was only like shit to do with comedy and like good shit with family. That's what I that's how I use it now. It's yeah. very rare that I put anything real. Like everything's a joke. You'll never know anything about me now before i gave all the information my socials <laughs> my fucking account numbers opposed to, like that's how like personal over sharing i did on fucking social See, media I would, you're I like dead do inside it. you don't really like post emotional <laughs> stuff <laughs> anywhere right no no you don't talk about it nothing you don't talk about it nope <laughs> do you feel Just, i'm straight up dead inside bro. <laughs> he is not yeah no. ew. He's a, no, dude. Nobody knows only, anything one about of the me. Like, reasons I probably don't is because I don't like to be bothered. So I don't want people like uh, texting me or. He doesn't want to write a suicide letter until like, you know. You know what I mean? Like, he's people, and then you, because if you don't respond to him, if you post something like that, automatically you're an asshole. Yeah. So I don't want to be bothered. So if I'm going, so I, I I'm not gonna post it because nah, I don't yeah. like being bothered. It it's was, not that, I, and you know I love people. I love people. I just. Hey Jews, <laughs> <laughs> they're not people. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't know anything about Jews. I can't be racist if I don't understand it. You can only hate something that you understand. They should only be counted completely. as five eights. First of all, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my brother. Or is it three do, do you have any Jewish friends? Yeah. Do you have any Jewish Shobra friends? Shabbos I don't know. <laughs> do you have any Jewish friends? I probably do. Yeah. Well, I got like I one got of friends my, of the tribe. Like, like yeah, okay, that's what I'm saying. Like and I like I do I like that's what dude, my brother Mac. shout out to my brother Mac Mike, you know what I'm saying? Uh, is dude. Jeremy Brown Jewish? <laughs> I don't know. 
We're not friends. <laughs> but uh, so, but growing up in Dallas, they they're more like a a melting pot. Like I don't even know. Do we have like a big Jewish population here? Yes. Yeah, in San Antonio. Do. Oh, we hell have some yeah, Jew dude. courts. You got. You know the churches. You really, you really do. You have a, a big Jewish population. I don't know. If, I mean, if they are Jewish, they're in hiding. I guess. You know what's they're crazy? not proud you know what's about crazy? it. Yeah, shit, oh, they got their. Uh, they, well, I'm, I'm just saying, like, as far as like people that I know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha, like, gotcha. be obvious about it. You know. I hear. Like, you. don't hide your shit. No, and they, Frank. They, All right, whatever. <laughs> dude, you know what tripped me out working here? I, what I didn't realize, because I've done, because you know I do construction, like home remodels. Not a lot of yeah. Jews in construction. <laughs> <Hey>. No. <laughs> it's not, but They're the out. union. They're not wearing hard hats, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> they have got some gorgeous women. Jubes. Jubes. Huge. <laughs> really? They're a friend of the cannons. <laughs> Jubes. <laughs> That's funny. Jesus. I love some Jubes. <laughs> Brent's pushing me off set over here. <laughs> Sorry, camera. my bad. <laughs> Dude, okay. I'm talking about some beautiful women. Yeah. I got to get over to Tel Aviv. Because one of the homies that I was doing some work for, he was saying, like, over there in Israel, yeah. Tel Aviv, he said Tel Aviv is like a mix between... Jews. It's, it's like New York meets Miami. Wow. Yeah. With like, they got Jews. beaches in that bitch. It's like super... He's like, the clubs, they open until like 5, 6 in the morning. Yeah. And I was like, and they serving alcohol? He's like, yeah. People smoking in there? I was like, in Israel? He was like, Tel Aviv? He's like, yes. He's like, you don't know. It's like, we just think everybody's over there. And it's a big resort it's spot. Dun, dun, all dun, very dun, reserved. Dun, 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 right. It's like, no party. Like just praying all the time. Exactly. That's what we think about. Yeah. Yeah. stupid ass haircuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they light them on fire and shit. Pop. But yeah, some beautiful women. He's like, he was like, the women over there are gorgeous. Dude, I'm talking about. Uh, but I'm talking about from the, like, the, the wives that I've seen, mm-hmm. the guys that I do work for. I'm talking about some Gorgeous women, beautiful. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I know any Jews. <laughs> now, I'm still trying to think about that. Banged one, yeah. Did you, yeah. Mazel. Look at you. Mm-hmm. Is that Blair right? Roth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you keep naming names. And, like, do I have to edit any names? If I'm lying, I'm dying. All right, good. Because I already read. <laughs> I already worked on your last episode, and you name names. That I just remember right now. But uh, we're good, I guess. <laughs> if I'm lying, I'm dying. I, you know. No, it's fine. Damn. Uh, why are we talking about the Jews? Facebook memories. Facebook memories. <laughs> <laughs> they because control of the people it. that we hate <clears throat> that run everything. Dunga, <sighs> dunga, dunga, dunga. <laughs> If right. you could get rid of one brick. <laughs> 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 who would you pick? You go first. Who'd you, who'd you Let's go just say you could put them all in a camp. Jesus. <laughs> Great oven structure. Uh, all right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. If I can get rid of one group, it would be cyclists. Cyclists? If you fucking cycle, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. It's so weird. Like, mad. D- I worked in a, in a clinic that uh, the doctor would bike bike to work, Ugh. and he would walk around the office in that get up, the skin, the tight. whole thing. Yeah, <sighs> wow. With the fucking knuckle, fucking Blue popping knuckle. out and shit. I was like, dude, we're <laughs> professional here. What are you doing? That's offensive. Take it off. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the whole cyclist, get out the fucking way, dude. The audacity of those people. Like the Tour de France type <laughs> of cyclist or just like... Uh, no, like fucking motherfuckers on the side of the road. like. Just oh, the recreational cyclist. Yeah, like get the fuck How out of here. You, right? you mean, what, you mean like the guys just like trying to get to work? After In the way. No. Like, like riding them, the guys riding a mountain bike trying to get to work? No, nah, just like on the okay. fucking side of the road. Are you talking about? Are you talking about like the Lance Armstrong time? Yeah, like, I'm with you on that. I'm all the way with you. I'm dead <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, wait. Can I? Can I? This? Can I qualify mine? Like, do fucked up drivers count in traffic? Is that it? Can I get rid of them? Yeah, dude. Oh, I, if I, I mean, absolutely no. I keep the cyclists, and if I can get rid of people that can't fucking drive. Yeah, I like to <laughs> play. I like to play this game when I'm driving. It, it's called uh, female or, or, or old person. Uh. <laughs> and yeah, the points uh, you get extra points if they're both female and old. Yeah. And the grand prize is just more rage. That's all you win is more rage. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I I I'm so I I hate because I'm just like 
dude, you're trying to kill us? Like, I hate when I see people on the phone, people not paying attention, people like putting on makeup when they're driving. I was like, dude, dude you're in a car, you're in a weapon right now. Right. And it, like, right. if you're not gonna pay attention and shit, like, I'm just like, what the fuck? I'm not gonna get an accident because you're fucking stupid. That's why insurance is what it is. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, it, that it, that's maddening. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm the the most maddening to me. Don't get me wrong. Like people driving slow, just that that's fine, whatever. But it's what's maddening is when I see someone driving and texting. Yeah, I I'm hate just that. Like, bro, you you don't realize like accidents happen in seconds, not minutes. It yeah. doesn't take. It takes all it takes is a second. Yeah. For the car over you to swerve or to slow down, and you not like two seconds is a long fucking time for you not to be looking at the road. So dangerous, especially at a high speed. Yeah. So I that's just like shit's. Mm, I'm like, bro. So nah, yeah, bad yeah. drivers get them the fuck out of here. What about you, uh, Senor Ramos? Uh, what group of people would you like to get rid of? Not for religious reasons, just for their personality. How much time do you have? <laughs> Not much. We got. We get rid of up. someone. We gonna start wrapping up. Uh, cool, man. Anything you wanna uh, hey, promote? Can I get rid of someone? Oh, oh right. go ahead. You have somebody prepared? People that steal jokes. Okay. It's <laughs> a good one. Right know on. who you are. Right yeah. We right. know who you are, <laughs> sir. All right, let's wrap up. Anything, <laughs> anything you want to promote? Anybody got anything coming up? This will be out Monday. This will be out tomorrow. Monday, old uh, Jakey Jokes uh, will be at uh, Upstage. We'll all actually be at Upstage for the comedy competition for the oh, MC. I haven't seen it. That's going to be dope. It's like December 7th, okay. December Am 14th. Yeah. yeah, you're on the 14th. Um, the day before my birthday? Yeah, so you better Ooh, win. Hallelujah, awesome. holla back, awesome. boy. Look at that shit. Uh, Who's in my bracket? Me. For real? All yeah. right. Who else? <laughs> Any, anyone that I'm going to have a problem with? Me. I haven't seen it. <laughs> uh, so that's the 14th. What else yeah, you, um, you can catch us, most of us. You can catch me and Pat at Tiger every Friday night. Um, follow, you can catch me drunk there. Follow uh, Jakey Laughs on Instagram. Follow the DMHB pod, ladies and gentlemen. And also, while you're there, go to YouTube. Go to YouTube. Go to Barbacoa Core YouTube. You can check out Los Dos Marihuanos. You can check out That's Hilarious. You can check out DMHB. You can check out Pat Out of Hell. It's a fun place, guys. Go there, like, subscribe. A lot of shows, solid channel, Barbacoa Core on the YouTube. Brent, what do you got shit. coming up? What do you want to plug? Uh, Man, uh, the... Only thing on the books right now is February 10th. February 10th, be back up in Dallas. Uh, don't have the exact times, but uh, I'll get them out there on uh, social media. Other than that, grind, just shoot. Gotta, you know what I'm saying? Grind. I thought you were going to say grinder. <laughs> Isn't no, that grinding, you on grinder? Grinding, grinding <laughs> it out. You know what I'm saying? Pin and pad, and you know what I'm saying? Just trying to hit the mic. Yeah. Get out there. Scat, what you got coming uh, up? December 14th. <laughs> Uh, upstage. Uh, December 10th, boys. Birthday party. Bentley's. If you listen, you're more than welcome to slide. The one downtown, not the one on Broadway. Uh, we got some good ass fights. So, uh, come through. Good shit. Nice, dude. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, at your homie Pat, com. This comes out on Monday on, uh, November 23rd. The 23rd, 25th, November 25th, um, doing Fantastic Damage, 10 p.m. at the Blind Tiger Comedy Club. Phenomenal show. We're doing it different. I'm going to switch it up. We're going to have two mics. It's going to be me on stage plus the storyteller. It's going to be like a stand-up with a mix of storytelling with a mix of a conversation. We're going to see if that works out. Come check it out. Come see us. Uh, see if it works out or see if it fails. Could be there for that. Might record it. Might put it on the YouTube. We'll see. We're still working on that. And then uh, November 30th, I will be at the uh, Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club, closing out the Homegrown <laughs> Showcase, doing a 30-minute set. Hell yeah. Uh, stoked about that one. So come out to that one. That's going to be special. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, a lot of good people on that one. Other than that, BobaCoolCore.com, Twitter and Instagram, at your homie Pat. And like and subscribe to YouTube, to Spotify, all that good stuff. Later. Fellas. Brack up, peace, bitch. Yeah.